On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the all new assault rifle, the BAL 27. And we'll also be unlocking all the camos for it in zombies. And hopefully by the end of it, we'll get the brand new weapon prestige camo as well. Let's go test it out. So I haven't really seen what this BAL 27 can do yet. I used it a little bit on stream just to get it leveled up in zombies. And I didn't really feel like it was doing all that great, but maybe we can turn it around today. But what I do like about this gun is that it's got the P90 type mag on it where it's top loaded here. It kind of reminds me of like the hurricane from last year's game. Hellhound, I'm trying to talk, bro. Get away. But I feel like you can't go that wrong with a fast firing assault rifle. It's got to do something right. And thanks to the new Easter egg in tier three, we can go ahead and throw this legendary Aether tool on here and get it to pack three right away. And since we can fully upgrade it right away, we can go right into tier three. So let's go ahead and see what this is doing against some tier three zombies. Where are they at? Any tier three zombies. Any tier three zombies at all? Why is it barren? Why is this a barren wasteland? There's signs that they were here. We can track them. This is actually crazy. Oh, here we go. So this is a fully armored zombie. Took only a few shots to break the helmet. Went down pretty fast. Don't seem too terrible so far. And let's go ahead and get our hands on this bounty before everyone starts flooding into tier three. We gotta take advantage of this while we can. Oh, sh I don't know what it is, but in this update, this game almost kind of feels a little bit more difficult. Like zombies feel a bit faster and maybe a bit stronger. I don't know if it's just placebo or it's because I've been spending most of my time on my desktop from the game crashing. But it feels like uh, you get swarmed a bit more in this. Like this is a huge horde for just tier three, just walking around. I still want to loot this building a little bit, but these guys aren't letting me. Oh, uh, we already have to Aether Shroud. Oh no. Okay, well, we got to use a self-revive immediately, but there's a disciple right here. Disciple is one of our camo challenges. We need to kill 10 of these bad boys. So let me lay into them. Ooh, not looking that great damage wise to start, but maybe that was just a mask blocking it. I'll try not to read too deep into that. But uh, let me throw on my golden armor plates and I'm not throwing on our mag holding just yet. I want to see how this does without the mag because currently I don't know if it's like the reload issues in this game because I know in Warzone it's been having some troubles. Or if it was just our Mark II Carbine that we tried out last episode, but it did not reload how you think it would. And against this Mega Abomination, we broke his face pretty quickly. And we we're about to be in a world of hurt if we can't take this guy down. I only have one self revive right now. That's probably the, the issue with hopping in here without doing some tier two bounties first. But uh, maybe I should throw on some stamina up. That might help. Maybe that's why the zombies were feeling faster. And I'll throw on dead shots too. And a little tombstone just because I had it. What kind of damage are we doing to this guy? Eh, it's not too bad. And he's shooting a laser. Ooh, we got to keep moving. We almost got him to half health now. I just need you to shoot another laser while I'm not getting hounded by these zombies. Whenever you're ready, pal. Oh, there's another face gone. I need to even need to shoot another laser. Oh, there we go. You wanted to anyways. Ooh. Recoil is a little crazy at range. But you just got to pull down a little bit. But I did make this build more towards like movement speed with only like my rear grip being for recoil control. And it's doing work. Okay, Mimic. All right, he's almost dead. And we... Oh, we're almost out of ammo. He's dead now. No way, bro. Just drove over and took my shit. I just got robbed. A drive-by robbery. All right, well, we have literally one bullet. So uh, we have to make a pit stop before we go over to this Mimic. Let's go ahead and grab Speed Cola. I want to see what the reload's like on this with Speed Cola because it's felt a little bit slow while we were fighting that abomination. But now, eh, pretty standard. Way better than those Model 1887s, that's for sure. Now, sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Mimic. What's this doing against you? Why do these Mimics not ever want to face me? They just like stop playing the game. Why does that happen? Okay. I think that's our last self revive. Cool. Awesome. Zombies. Why don't you uh, leave me and the Mimic alone for a little bit? Come on. He's at half health. We got to play this very safe. So if we can just take these guys out. Actually, you know what? We can just Aether Shroud on them and take them out here. Let's do this. Light them up. Way to put up a fight, Mimic. There you go. Self-revive in here. Yes, sir. I will also take that jug. And uh, yeah, that's actually not terrible loot. But I'm not sold on the damage on this. Maybe it just needs like an ammo mod to put it over the top. It's not like this thing can't take anything out. But it just 
kind of seems mediocre. But since we have messed around with it without Maggle holding for a bit, let's throw that on. And let's throw on the new schematic here, the golden arm golden mask filter consumed to regenerate gas masks when not in use okay so is that really not going to do anything while we're in here right now oh and this is a smart strat bringing in the what is that the blood burner bike into the storm to kill some zombies for that challenge that ain't a bad idea oh but it's a bad idea for me to be in here i don't see the storm caller i feel like ever since that challenge popped up the storm caller has been murdered instantly in every one of my games. I have not seen the Stormcaller in a minute. Yeah, he's already dead. We're only like 10 minutes into this game. Look at our gas mask icon. That's a little different. And it does regenerate. So I'm assuming our gas mask can still break. But by the time we get a new gas mask, it can still like replenish it. So it doesn't make it like... it. Hell server message overflow. I've never seen that before in my life. Please do not crash on me, game. That's been happening way too much. And does another abomination want to smoke with me? Fine, I'll take you out. I am liking this a bit better with Maggle holding. Every gun's better with Maggle holding. Let's me unload the damage on him a lot easier. And I would ask this abomination to drop me a legendary aether tool, but I know for one, he's too pussy and two, I don't even need that anymore. I got plenty. My whole stash is full of them. Oh, what the? What the? What just? Oh, there's a dude on a bike. I thought his laser just pushed me back that far. But he did drop a jug. Not that we need it. And since we're in tier three, you might as well try to get some camos done in style. Speaking of that, disciple, let me take you out. But besides our 10 disciple kills, we need to get our 250 kills in tax stance. So let me switch to that. We also need 250 kills or no, 100 kills shortly after using our field upgrade speak of the devil i absolutely hate this challenge and what else do we got i think that's it then we just get gold and get out of here so uh we just need to get some xp with this as well to work towards our first siege challenge but it looks like somebody already started up this triangle over here we're gonna have to wait our turn hear that or the stuff's just not spawning did they already patch this since i already got the dark aether open i can't do this anymore i hope not is this spot working i don't see any of the signs here Oh no. I hope it's just like glitched out or something. So I was just talking all that shit about not needing legendary aether tools and now my supply has been cut off. I'm about to start going into withdrawals. I'm just gonna write that off as a bug. It's just the game messing up. But we got some camos to get. Let's start this up and hope we can knock it out before the storm starts moving in. Because we got an elder sigil to go to once we get all these. I still have one more schematic that I need from there. Just have to do a slight amount of edging on the contract. Keep it between 56 and 54. So we should get a good amount of disciples spawning in here. This challenge should be a breeze. Why are they all spawning on the other side? I swear the zombie tracking has been so bad since season three has started. They either completely ignore me or spawn on the completely opposite side of me. I don't know if it's, this is their way of trying to take out people grinding in Outlast contracts. But then I come over here and they're all gone. Hello, zombies. I had this problem trying to unlock this gun. I was doing the same exact outlast and the zombies would just straight up ignore me. Like, look, what? What are you doing? You're just treadmilling right in front of me. I don't get it. They ignore me when I want them to come up to me and try to kill me so I can get some camos. And when I want them to leave me alone, they just can't get enough. There we go. There's our disciple camo. Now we just got to focus on getting our kills shortly after using our field upgrade because that one's going to hold us back. Oh, finally, the zombies are targeting me. Only took forever. This should make the grind a lot easier now. Come on. We got to be close at least on these field upgrade kills, if not tax stance. Which one's going to show up first? Oh, there's a tax stance. All right. Answering my question. I could smell the camo coming. Come on. Give me my field upgrade camo, please. All right, whatever game. How far off are we? We still need 40 kills. I hate this challenge so much. At least we're probably getting a good amount of weapon XP towards our prestige camo sitting here doing this. Even though this shit is taking forever. At least we're, we're progressing something. We're getting something out of it. Dude, come on. We only got six minutes left in this game. Please fork over the camo. I've had to use like 100 Aether Shrouds already. This has got to be it right here. Come on. Hand it over. There we go. Perfect. That should be everything. And if we can successfully get out of here, game, I'm talking to you. It's only this game's fault that I won't make it out. 
most of the time. But if we can get out of here, then we should have Golden Enigma on this. And let's do this quick little cargo mission because I need some money to buy cashmeres because this new Elder Sigil is no joke. I gotta be able to beat that escort mission. Okay, I think we're all good. I have five cashmeres, two monkey bombs, and I will have all my decoys once we make it in. <gasps> oh, look at this. The things are back. Hold on. Let's knock this out really quick before we go in. Oh, wait. Maybe I'm, uh... I'm being a little too ambitious because the storm is right here, but I would like to leave this game with a legendary aether tool. No, 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 no. Let's not get greedy. Let's not get greedy. Let's do the job that we got to do and get out. And let's hope this gun can hold up in the dark aether because I haven't been too impressed with it so far. I don't know what's going to change in the dark aether, but you know, maybe it'll, uh, it'll get a second wind. Oh, look, the game's reminding us what we're fighting for. Damn, where are your nipples? But we have to do extra well on this one because I do not have a scorcher to bail me out or help me go any further. We don't got that transportation. All we got is our textures leaving constantly. God damn, the fucking palm tree just danced at me. Was that a low -end executor? Execute? Why are you moving? Stop. Well, we got to get this escort started. And the last time I came in here, I figured out that once we open this up and we grab the item in here, that this is like a little passive upgrade. And it, I should have known because it said passive item when I grabbed it. But I was getting so surprised by the amount of nukes I was getting all of a sudden doing this. And that's what the upgrade does. Showing you annihilating energy, meaning that any one of these elites that just have like that green glow, We'll spawn a nuke and a crash, apparently. it will nuke the servers. I was I was feeling good about this game. I was feeling like we were going to get through this without a crash. But no, it just had to get my hopes up just to dash them. And I think the worst part about this is, I don't know if we're going to get Golden Enigma from that. I don't know if us exfilling to the Dark Aether counts as a su successful exfil. Guess we'll see. That's sick. Everything is gone. And we didn't get gold. I'm tired of this, man. This don't happen on any other game, but with COD, every update, it's like they, they add a few more in and they have the gold to put in the patch notes, fix crashing issues or address crashing issues. They might as well put removed hero Brian. Now I'm going to throw on my conspiracy hat here for a second, but I feel like I'm crashing so much because one, I'm an elite gamer and they need to hold me down. I need some sort of nerf and two, because they finally added in something to make the schematic cooldowns go by faster by X filling with, you know, X amount of money or whatever. But they don't even let me exfil. They say, no, you need to actually play. You need to let the timer go down on its own, pal. They don't want to see me winning is basically what it, what it comes down to. They just want to see me in the penitentiary. So now we got to play a whole extra game just to get our golden enigma. Let's get it together, COD. All right, that should be gold. I'm actually going to be pissed if I got like 99 kills or something. But there's no way we didn't get golden enigma. Why am I still going? Why is it still going? Does it really not want me to exfil this bad? Hello? We are way out of the map. What's happening? Um, Raptor 1? Nope. Wrong person. Made it out. Holy shit. I haven't seen this screen in years. Oh, we got way more than 100 kills. That's for sure. Let's go. Um, what is this floating ball? Why, why is there a scorcher in my face? What is happening? Hello? Game? This is ridiculous, dude. I can't believe how they're taunting me. Go away! But anyways, we can start going for our camos. And you know what? Since we're right here next to the Stormcaller, let's uh, give this a whirl real quick. We don't have dead shot, but well, we got to take our chances while we got him. I haven't seen this dude in a long time. We still have not even broke his mask. Only laying into him here with Maga holding. Please break that. Did we break it? I think we did. Now it's starting to do some damage. We got him staggered. Got him down to half health. Let's take out some of his zombie army. Because honestly, this is going to help us just get up to our Zerk on scale anyways. We need 300 Pack-a-Punch kills. Then we need our Elite kills. And we also need to get 50,000 XP this game if we want to get our Prestige camo. And I think we might be able to do it if we just stick to trying to kill zombies like almost the entire game. And then once we get all that, we can try our Elder Sigil again. If the game will allow us, if it'll be so graceful, graceful, whatever. I can't even fucking speak. And he's done. It actually says we have zero weapon XP towards this when we check it in game. That can't be right. There's no way. I guess we'll find out after the game if it was tracking or not. No fucking way. You can't make this shit up. That's my last Maggle holding too. Oh. 
Cod, cod, cod. Stupid fucking game. Oh, so we unlocked Zircon scale. Did we crash right when we unlocked it? Is that what's happening? It can't be because we saw camos pop up earlier. That's so weird because I didn't see this pop up in game at all. And we still got 40,000 XP to go. Okay, so I was wrong. I did have one more Maggle holding, but I shouldn't have to use all these. I shouldn't have to like go and stock up on a bunch of them just to deal with this game's bullshit but let's hope i don't crash when i unlock uh serpent tonight and i know it says weapon xp but i'm curious to see if just normal double xp will help maybe we'll be able to unlock our uh prestige camo faster without having to waste our double weapon xp we can save that for when new weapons come out all right time to go back to the elder take two let's uh try not to crash this time all right, this is going to be better than last time because we're going to actually make it all the way through. I am fully prepared. Got a bunch of cashmeres here and we're going to be able to use this to our advantage this time around. There's a mimic that's got a nuke deep inside him. Give me that. We just need to be on the lookout for those and we'll be all right. Whoa, mimic, what are you doing? What is this bullshit? He gets to stay inside of my escort and hit it? That's fucked up. Oh, he just took off so much health from that. I can't win in this game, dude. It's always something, especially with these mimics. Damn, all the way down to 58%. For nothing, for no good reason. There's a nuke. Jeez, this game actually might hate me. 33% on the first stop is crazy. If we can actually pull this off, I'll, I'll be the best player ever. I mean, I already am, but it'll just add to my legacy. Let's keep the decoys up. And I am completely out of ammo. That's not good. Uh, another cashmere. Go. I'm down, but it's fine. Cashmere can uh, defend us for a second. There's our nuke. That's what we're looking for. And let's spawn in another elite that's got a nuke in them, shall we? Please. I think I just got serpent tonight because the game crashed. This is fucking awesome. At least we kind of know like something that correlates to the crash. Jeez. Why? How does that... I'm out, I'm out of words. Oh, yeah. Would you look at that? There's our Serpent tonight. And there's our Borealis. And we're actually pretty close to this Prestige Camo. So I think that double XP thing was actually working. We don't have to use weapon XP. It can be any XP. You guys ever heard of the definition of insanity? At this point, I'm just committed to being committed. Throw me in the asylum because I just want this Prestige Camo now. Let's try the Dark Aether one more time. And this time, it's going to be different somehow hopefully uh mimic doesn't get stuck inside of our escort this time that'll make it a bit easier so far so good 70 percent at the first stop not bad one of you fucks need to start glowing green right now double points that's not what we need i don't care about points i care about getting this to the destination safely oh shit i'm not even getting myself there safely at least my hellhounds distracting and there's no elites right now that are glowing green oh wait i see one here we go Ashmir. there we go we got them we got two nukes so there's one let's get this over here to start doing the super suck hit another one look at this game plan we're killing it another cashmere oh and there's our one trick camo and it didn't crash let's go we got our prestige camo nothing can stop us now hopefully please don't stop us we have one more stop with 22% on this. Ooh, here's our nuke guy too. Let's try to keep him close. So that way we can hit it right when this thing starts. Please do not crash on me game. All right, let's do this. Cashmere. Get this guy killed. Hit our nuke. Maybe I should have waited for my cashmere to end. Because now I'm fully out of him. Now we can throw a decoy and just focus on the elites. Or at least try to. Damn it. That is such a hard contract to complete. All right, whatever. We got to cut our losses and go. All right, whatever this one is, you're next. Give me that. Mind-blowing revelation. I'm pretty sure this one just increases crit damage, but maybe it only increases crit damage on whatever gets outlined in yellow, perhaps. This one I'm not too sure on. I'm sure it will be a mind-blowing revelation once we figure it out. Fuck me. Is my Hellhound here or is he dead? Hellhound, you want to get me up? Don't look like it. I think he's uh, no longer with us. Can I call in a mortar strike here? I can. So let's do that. Before, I couldn't call in my jug, so I just assumed kill streaks didn't work here. Oh, there's an insta kill. We desperately need that. Oh, if that thermite would have landed a second earlier. Oh, I still picked up the insta kill while I'm on the ground. I am completely out of self revives, I think. Yeah. Okay. 
so far, nothing has gone well for us. Not a damn thing. But we did get a nuke. Um, Self-reviving here. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look how lucky we are. Eat a thermite. That's Aether Shroud. He's so low health. Come on. We can just tank this laser. Make it through. No! Alright, well, now we're back to no self revives. Oh, and he's so close to dying. Come on. Is it really that hard just to die? I mean, not for me, it's not. But we need this guy to go down. Maybe that thermite will finish the job. I don't think it did. And we got four minutes. There we go, got him. Is he gonna kill everything over here? I hope so. Oh, please don't kill me. Please don't knock me. Please don't knock me. Holy shit. Okay, it didn't kill everything. It killed a few things. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see what our reward is. We don't got any decoys, no nothing. We might just have to try to fight our way either to a nuke right here, which is in the cards. No! Give me that. Oh. But it still didn't kill everything. These guys still have full health. And there's another nuke. Come on. While oh, they're stunned, what do we got? Give me that. Give me that. Ooh, let's equip that. Throw that on. And yeah. Okay, three minutes. Um, We have to go towards where our next contract is anyways to exfil. We might as well just try to get it done. We're going to be cutting it super close. But actually, when the timer runs out, the storm just moves in. And we have a golden gas mask right now. So I think we are okay. I'm stressing for nothing, but... But I don't have more than one self revive. This Aether is hard. I want to master this. It makes me want to like learn all the strats for it. And can we get lucky again with another one in here? Nope. Okay, they're not going to be that generous. I don't even know how we're going to start this one. Oh, fuck. Yep, there goes our last self revive. I think we might just need a bail. We just need to get out of here while we can. Well, let's get one X fill today. Oh, and there it is. Wait, am I completely safe here? Do zombies not spawn here? Oh, yep, they do. All right, we're leaving. Goodbye. I'm out of here. Oh, what a fucked up day. And we crash at the end. Oh, what, a, what a beautiful punctuation of this. Show me the error, please. Thank you. Well, despite the game bending us over all day and making us take it, we actually came out of here with uh, something a little nice. Our prestige camo looks pretty good. With it being the first gun to come out with the new prestige camo, this has got to be the one weapon in the game that almost everybody that's gone for this camo has it on. But is it worth it? I think so. This is a pretty nice looking camo. It's not like my favorite camo all the time. Uh, I've heard people say like in my stream chat saying this looks like uh, dark matter, but gold. And I agree, but it is nice camo. And I do like the idea of prestige camos and we'll be getting them each season. Is the way I went about unlocking it worth it? Probably not. Uh, I think most people will probably stop playing after maybe like the first crash or two, but uh, I'm an insane person. So, but overall thoughts on our battle 27 and zombies it is uh pretty mid it's very middle of the road ar it can it can hang it can you know kill zombies it's serviceable but there's better weapons out there uh it's a fun looking weapon like i'm pretty sure it's from what advanced warfare infinite warfare something like that so it's a bit unique but it doesn't have any special features when you pack a punch it it doesn't have like a really high damage output it's got a pretty decent fire rate, but it's it's just mid. I would recommend using like almost any other AR. Uh, I've been playing this game for way too damn long. COD, please fix your fucking game. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.